So let's clear the space. I call in my guides, my spirit team, my angels, and my ancestors, and your star family, our star family, the guides, for clear to get messages for this collective reading. Okay, so something that they wanted to a dawa that I got. Okay, so some messages that I was getting during meditation is that it's really important to slow down right now. Um, meditation is really big. It'll really help a lot of you guys. And yeah, there's something that they want you to see. I'm getting that your your spirit team we want you to see you something. Okay, spirit clearing message messages from the most divine highest light and love through saying accurate messages, please. For the collective, I ask that my spirit team surround me and the collective with perspective, light, and golden energy. Connect me with the collective energy, please, so I can deliver what they need to hear. What, what do they need to hear? Okay, so I feel like you guys are waiting for something, but instead of you guys waiting, being in this waiting energy, they want you to prepare for it. And the time is three, two, one. as I'm saying this. Everything is so divine when you're doing readings. I swear, guys, even all the audio hiccups and, like, truthfully, if you guys ever listen to other readings on YouTube, sometimes they have to record the same reading, like, four times because the energy's off or there's, there's usually sometimes interferences energetically with readings. I always, like, cleanse my space, meditate, and shield it and, like, protect it when I, when I do readings. But overall, like, there's a message in everything, okay? Okay, so we got number 11. Guy Lauren said, oh, MG, it's almost one, two, three here. That's so cool. Okay, so whenever you see number sequences, like, three, two, one, that means that you're building up to something. You're building block to a destination. A three, two, one is like, it's about to be here. It's about to arrive. You know, like when people count down like three, two, one, it's like, happy new year, you know? Um, so pay attention to number sequences like that, like five, six, seven, or eight, nine, and then like 10 or something like that, because those numbers are really going to give you mess divine messages. The number three, two, one, I was getting for the message so far is like, you're about to, you're getting every day, and I want you to embody this mindset. Every day, you're closer and closer to whatever this goal is that you're trying to reach. Like, every day you work on it, you make progress, and you're getting closer and closer, and you're embodying that energy more and more. So it's like, energetically, you're already carrying around that energy of having it, and so then you're just in this energy of allowing yourself to magnetize this to you. So when I got the message earlier about you're in this patient waiting energy, instead they want you to prepare because I was preparing during this reading at the beginning to get my camera set up. I feel like I feel like that's the kind of energy you're in. Like they want to make sure that um, your mindset's correct. Like, it's like fine tuning your frequency, your energetic field to receive this blessing yeah that's what it is they're trying to get you to be at a frequency match to receive this blessing that's the only way that you can receive it is if you're an energetic match for it and to be an energetic match for it you need to prepare and you have to be open to receiving so we got flash over it's all in your head okay let me see. this is a card number 11 okay i'm really saying a lot of you guys are okay Take what resonates with many people that are going to be watching. So this card reminds me of burnout. Do you see that she's like on the outside? She's like, she looks tired, exhausted, almost like she's burnt out. She's low on energy. But in her mind, there's there's so much like energy going on. So much um, momentum is what I'm getting here. Okay, so they want you to stop <laughs> thinking. I feel like... You're really caught up in your head. Sometimes you get caught up in your head about how things are going to happen, when, why. It can be kind of obsessive. And when you're constantly replaying what it is that you want to work out, like it's good if you're taking time to feel into the outcome that you desire in a high vibrational way, like your energy feels good and you're not staying too long on it. You're able to 
afterwards surrender and then let it go, that's good. You release that into the universe. But oblivion here, open your arms. They need you to be more open. You saw white light. That's cool. It's probably one of my angels. <laughs> um, yeah, it says oblivion, open your arms. So I'm actually going to read from the booklet for these two cards. And this deck is called Magic of You, if any of you are interested in this reading or purchasing this deck on your own. So it says, you are overthinking things. Friction and resistance in the circuits of your brain have now confused you into thinking the pain and tension is in the world around you when real when really almost said in reality <laughs> it's all in your head. The good news is that at the same time, all it takes is a spark of trust to short circuit resistance built up from friction with the world. When flash over appears, it's time to close your eyes and take a deep breath and recognize that the only thing standing in your way is you. The light of a busy mind can be beautiful, but in order to reveal its best achievements, times of darkness and rest are essential. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm getting is like, at the very beginning of the reading, I mentioned that they're calling you to meditate, which I always say, but like, I really do mean it because what meditation offers to you is clarity and inner peace and stillness, which allows you to observe things from a calmer standpoint and see things for what they actually are. You're actually able to observe your emotions, your thoughts, your external environment, and they really want you to zoom out and take yourself out of the situation and kind of see yourself um, like you're writing the book. You're the author of your life. You're creating your life with each day, each thought, each action. Like you're in control of your narrative, your character. That is totally channeled because I did not know where that came from. <laughs> okay, so after all, you can only see the stars in the darkness. I love that. That's one of my favorite things. Let go of your worries and fears for a while without reservation and let the world balance itself around you. The girl of flashover is wary but realizes that she cannot continue in this way. The growing plump leaves around her cushion and comfort her as she slowly releases her mental grasp and relaxes her mind towards clear thought and profound insight. Yeah, and that's what I was getting with all this mental activity, like, take a time out. Okay, I'm looking at this cup in front of me, and the words that are standing out that are in red is society and truth. So take yourself out of society for a minute. Like, if you're constantly surrounded by people and noise and busyness, like society, you know, social media, the way of the world and news and all that tech, like, take a step back and be in your own energy and realize what are you creating as your truth? What are you building as your truth? Okay, so they want me to give you examples. So some of you might really involve yourself into other people's lives. You don't know if this resonates with you, but it's like you're so in tune with energy and especially the people that are around you like your energy starts to you start to kind of adapt isn't the right word but you almost kind of like merge in a way energetically like if you're around someone for a long time especially if you're not shielding yourself and setting energetic boundaries your auric fields are together your electromagnetic field and you're both kind of exchanging energy so they want you to, t like, write down what is your truth. What is this life that you're building yourself? What is this life that you're going to be living for yourself? They want you to focus more on that. Put energy more into your world, your external world. Like, what are you going to do today in your body with your vessel to move closer to, to towards your goals? Whatever that is. That could be healing your chakras, uh, a money goal, like a financial goal. It can be a goal to attract a partner, uh, build deeper relationships with your family member, something like that, whatever. It'll be different for everyone. What's a V? So I don't believe I, I don't know if I read the whole <laughs> card. Let me go back and see if I did. So they want you to relax your mind and clear your thoughts. You will have profound insights. That's what I was saying at the beginning of the video. Um, meditation really helps give you that mental clarity and a lot of you have, like, your geniuses, like, people who have ADHD and things like that, most of the time you are actually very intelligent and you're, like, a genius, but you tend to not really know that about yourself and you have to learn how to work with that 
um, let it work for you and not be something that works against you. Like, I get a lot of you have lots of ideas. You have so much inspiration. Like, there's constantly downloads happening, flowing through your crown chakra. And because you're not acting out on this, you're not opening yourself up, it's kind of weighing you down. If you thought, like, okay, you will know if this resonates with you, because I know this resonates for me. Sometimes when I have so many ideas and, like, things that excite me and things I want to create, and I let's say I don't do any of them, like, I don't even work on one of them, like, well, I don't do as much as I want to do in a day or something like that, right? It will weigh me down. Like, I will just carry this with me, like, and then... It can work against you, like this divine idea, this divine inspiration. It can actually hurt you more and make you drain because you're not acting out of it. So it's just sitting inside of you. This this like energy egg is there. They're giving me this this creation that wants to be birthed into reality. It's just sitting within you, and you're not doing anything about it. It's oh my god, guys, think about how painful this would be. Imagine a pregnant woman. And she's ready to give birth and like she's not pushing out like your body will naturally like just push out your baby. I mean, your body like knows what to do. It's like inner. This is kind of getting a little deep. Okay. It's in more DNA to act on these divine inspired insights and messages that spirit is giving to you. These things to create. You just have to allow yourself to do it. You're blocking yourself. That is why we had the flash over, and it literally said, when the flash over appears, it's time to close your eyes and take a deep breath and recognize that the only thing standing in your way is you. And I'm, okay, look, I'm not the type of reader to, like, I try to say things as best as I can, but I just deliver it, like, rawly and authentically how spirit delivers it to me so i'm not i don't want you guys to shame yourself for this because i know that this is something i work on because we're all a collective unit but it's really important to be aware of ways that you're blocking yourself energetically and it's normal okay it's just something that we have to work on and be aware of and there's nothing to be ashamed about that so i hope i'm not offending anybody yeah allow source to flow through you with oblivion we got <laughs> and this deck is kind of harsh like with the way that they say things it's very direct uh, that, that's part of the reason why I don't read it too often yeah tough love Arlen said tough love yes are you blind to the gifts around you do you tend to cut your nose off to spite your face there is something beautiful and useful in dark reflection and sorrowful emotions but the same emotions turn ugly when they rot and fester to become self-pity and mardom. I hope I said that right. Oh, my God. I was just talking about this. Like, I was just, there is some, there's some shame around this energy in you guys, like, energetic field. Like, and I literally just made a reading that I'm going to post later on my YouTube, Inigo Lotus Oracle, a tarot reading about why do you feel off? Because I feel like a, the collective is experiencing some sort of energy where it's like, <laughs> what they're giving me, <laughs> okay, the analogy that they're giving to me is like, you, you, let's just say you made a, you made a nice plate of food, okay, you're ready to eat, you, you ready to eat this plate of food, and you go in your silverware drawer, and you pick up a spoon, right, and you're like, oh, I'm ready to eat my soup. And you look on the spoon right when you're about to dip into your soup, and it, it's dirty. Like, you got dirty, <laughs> like, you have dirty, stuck, old food on your spoon. Of course, you don't want to put that dirty spoon with food on it into your fresh, nice dish of food. Of course not. Of course not. That is why you're not... <laughs> You're not ready to eat up this blessing that the universe is about to serve to you because the spoon that you're about to eat with is dirty. So basically what this means is there's some residue energy, like it says here, um, there's something beautiful and useful in dark reflection and powerful emotions, but the same emotions turn ugly when they rot and fester. So they really want you to sit in reflection and gain clarity of mind in the present moment and being in your own energy so you can realize these this old residue in your energy field in your energy like I know what it's like to really want to shift out of your reality and just trick your mind and, and 
almost trick yourself that you don't feel something a negative, but if you're feeling it and it's an emotion in your body, it's energy and it needs to be released. So not being afraid to sit in this self pity and like observe it. It's not you. Okay. It's not you. It's just a temporary feeling. It's a temporary emotion that will pass, but it's almost like this, it needs to be unclogged. Like there's some um, clog in your system that needs to be released through being in dark reflection and not running from that. It like facing that, the way you self-sabotage or self-pity or martyrdom. I, I think that's how you say that, but it's like, I know what it means. It's like when you're sacrificing your well-being and yourself for like at the cost of your own like well-being and it's almost like being selfless or doing things to the point for others where it's just hurting yourself so be more aware of that it says the flowers are waiting for when you are ready but do not let them die do not let everyone know what is going on in your head it is time to keep up appearances there is great beauty and gifts around you but you are turning your back to them. So what I actually get, I don't take this literally, okay? The message that they're getting, that they're giving to me is like, obviously you want to take time alone to self-reflect, but it's like some of you are trying to keep up with the parents. It's like you're trying to tell yourself to everyone, oh, no, I'm fine, everything's good. And But you're really not. Because you see how on the her back, she's got flowers taped to her back. So it's like eventually people can see through like you trying to keep up with this image but it's almost like a burden that you're putting on yourself you're placing on yourself by not facing this real pain and this real like struggle that you feel on the inside that you're almost like running from and you're running from something by mo- like manifesting this new thing or this goal so just it's different for everyone, so just figure out your why and what you feel in your current state and do some shadow work on, like, where that's really stemming from. Is, is that even a real problem? Like, is even a, is, is, it's not ever really a problem, but you'll, you'll do your shadow work and you'll realize that it's just an illusion. Um, there is great beauty and gifts around you, but you are turning your back to them. Be brave and rise above the thought the suction of self-pity avoid wallowing and indulgent sorrow so yeah it's like there's something here about you don't need to go to the depths and the depths of the depths of the darkest sea and like be in a darker night of the soul for a whole year again like you really don't have to experience whatever is built up in you to its full effect anymore you don't have to because it's in the past and you've already gotten over it so i feel like some of you are afraid afraid of like feeling this pain and you think it's going to take you so deep under because you remember a time where you were really consumed by your emotions and you were really in this darkness and you did not see a light and you thought it was going to take you forever to get out of but that is not real like these are just little specks of residue that you just need to clean off and you're making room for these blessings to come in. So it says you have afflicted enough self-suffering. You don't, yeah, you don't have to suffer anymore. Like, it's kind of tricky because, okay, if you guys are, like, going through more purging from something that happened in the past and kind of coming up now in slight ways, um, when you do feel that and do your shadow work and, like, allow yourself to dive into those emotions, observe yourself because you're actually healed from that. You're above that. So just allow it to happen to you. It's Your body is just trying to catch up. Your system and your ego, your mind, which is your ego, is just trying to catch up with where you are currently adjusted, if that makes sense, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm here for you guys. Yeah, trying, literally trying to heal my shame. It's instilled in us since birth. I'm just, I'm letting you know that, like, for sure, like, guilt, shame, and that's definitely um, some sacral solar plexus chakra work, and I do really feel like you guys are working through this. So it says, the girl stands in a pool of water. Her emotions are physically manifesting. The water is reflecting the moonlight, but it grows stagnant. It needs to swirl and move. Her arms are folded in resistance. She's blocking the peace and fulfillment that she yearns for and yet feels she must deny herself. Yeah, it's like you guys turning away and denying your emotions. 
I'm sorry if I get too passionate. I don't mean to press on this, um, but this will allow you to transform through this by looking in the mirror and looking at the truth that you feel and the pain inside of you. Um, it's not going to hurt you. Like You meet it with compassion and gentleness because it's literally your inner child that just needs love and care and attention right now. Because if you don't, feel into it now and allow it to flow when it comes up, it can build up over time and eventually make you like burn out like really bad and cause it causes like main chakra blockages in your I don't know why I wanted to say main, but like it caused chakra blockages within you, which makes it harder for you to be in alignment with your higher self and it makes it more difficult to manifest and stay on that uh high frequency momentum and vortex as Abraham Hicks says the vortex um it says she is blocking the peace and fulfillment that she yearns for yet still she must deny herself the petals are starting to fly away in the wind do not miss your opportunity because you are wallowing and feeling sorry for yourself open your arms and receive the gifts waiting for you turn your face to the sun and let the shadows fall behind you okay that was some deep messages right there Sitting and self-reflection and all it takes is a little bit of time guys a day just you'll have an opening like I feel like spirit will give you openings in your day where you're kind of just a little bored and you don't really know what to do take the time to just journal about how you feel or take a moment to just breathe like deep breath into your body and like how do you feel don't let how you currently feel though like dictate you in your whole life okay it's temporary but that'll tell you a lot about the energy that you're moving through and like what you're manifesting and make sure you clear your energy field you don't want to be picking up on other people's energy around you because that was a message that i'm getting is that you are like i'm hearing clashing like egos clashing auras or clashing with someone around you like is um very not aligned with you but the real okay so it's like everything's a reflection of you inside out right so this whatever person or situation you're dealing with that feels like it's not in alignment with you it's because you're still um you're still aligning with that energy in some type of way and and the it's inside of you like the dirty spoon metaphor that they gave me earlier about before you dip it into your fresh plate of food um it's deep within you it feels deep it feels like yo y'all are going to be going through some really profound feeling but it's happening for you it's not happening against you because what this is going to allow you is it's going to help you to like open up the flow because remember when i was reading the card and it said the water is like stagnant and still around her her she turns with her back her arms are, this is like so when you this particular particular shadow that you're unveiling revealing is what they're giving me i'm feeling like an open up <laughs> You're, like, allowing the light to come in these deep, dark places in yourself, and it's going to heal it. Because when you bring awareness to it, that's light. It's light energy. It's truth. It's um, knowingness. And that can, I'm seeing, like, light energy. You kind of see how steep this light right here. It's like this light energy is going to see through the dark, like, crevices and corners within yourself, these shadows that you've been, like, holding. <laughs> They've been actually, they've been holding you. That's what they're telling me. It's a, it's just it's both ways. You're holding the, these things and they're holding you. It's like when you let go and allow the light to come in, these shadows aren't going to have a hold over you anymore. And like when it, when these triggers come up, they really want you to breathe through it because your body is like, for some of you might have PTSD and I'm getting like <laughs> body um, I'm getting like body shakes for some of y'all, like memories or emotions come up again. Okay. With the temperance card here for sure. Oh my God. Look, I was just reading all of the all up in this energy. Okay. Yeah. So look here, guys, we got the five of cups and the temperance card and the five of cups is the cup about sadness, shame, guilt, remorse. Like, and I really feel this energy, you guys. Like, I think you just need to fill into it and accept it. Like, I'm almost getting emotional for over this. Um, and, you know, if this doesn't resonate with you, it could just be sometimes you're feeling great and things are good. And then all of a sudden you have, like, you just all of a sudden, like, 
why? And you're like, where the hell did that come from? As some of you keep yourself very busy doing all these different things, like multitasking, because you're just trying to distract yourself from this sadness that you feel. But I, it's like, let me bring you back to the flash over. It is all in your head. And it's not to, I don't want to say that you're your worst enemy, but you can't tend to be your worst enemy, okay? Because no one has power or control over you unless you give it to them. And I, look, I know that's, like, hard to accept and realize when you've been in situations where you did have to fight and you did feel like a victim, like, going through assault or abuse or anything like that, like, my love and my compassion really goes out to you all, but your past that I'm seeing, like, okay, they want me to start channeling messages from them, guys. Your spirit team wants you to see how special you are and how loved you are. Like, I almost want to cry right now because you don't see how blessed you actually are are and like just you alone you're so special like none of these issues and these past pains and hurts matter anymore like you are meant to be the light you survive these situations you're a freaking warrior you don't need to tie or tape fake masks onto you and hide who you really are from the world anymore because this was programmed into you. This was a program. This was expectations from family, from society. It's not your truth. You've been carrying around someone else's truth. You are the flower. You're the whole living thing. These flowers aren't attached into the ground. They can't grow anymore. It's, it's just going to die. It's temporary beauty, solid, and going to bring fruit in the future. It's very, like short-term gratification like oh i'm gonna smile and get through this day and then i'm gonna cry and sob in my bed after work <laughs> like we all been there like i don't know i've definitely been there where i was like oh so happy at work and it's like oh i'm just up keeping this like high energy and being there for people and then i get home and it all just breaks like this facade just shatters and i'm like oh my god but like I've been there and they want you to don't fake who you are you know it's like if you're and this is something that's difficult when you know your energy has a powerful impact on people because I know for me like people know it's very it's like I don't wear my heart on my sleeve it's just I'm so expressive in my emotions <laughs> like if I'm mad, like, someone is instantly going to call that out, like, my sibling, and be like, are you mad, are you? And I try so hard to hide. I'm like, no, fine. Like, because I don't want to, like, you guys might relate to this. You don't want to affect other people's, people with your emotions. That's why they want you to take that time out and to sit in stillness and in and, and a dark space, maybe light a candle, and just, like... Sit with yourself and feel your emotions and, uh, like, allow yourself to cry. I really recommend doing ma body massages and yoga and stuff like that to help this energy flow because there needs to be movement here. Look at all this water. There is water in almost all these cars except for this one. Okay, yeah. And you see all the movements happening in her mind and her head. But they want you to <laughs> flow with the external so... <laughs> I know sometimes it can feel like you're on a roller coaster. You might still kind of bipolar a little bit. Okay, I know I don't mean that. Okay, I know some people actually diagnose with that. But you might feel at times like, why am I feeling so high, this band is so low the next? Like, embrace that because it's about the journey. It's taking you through the journey. It's actually very beautiful if you think about it. Like, how boring it would be if we only felt happiness. I was so bored of being happy. Do you know what I mean? And I will end this on some more positive notes, guys. I just ended up kind of diving into these, like, shadowy things. Here we go. More. <laughs> Look at more of this energy. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's all self-imposed. I want you to go outside. Okay, I actually did this last night. I just played some music and just danced and took off my shoes and did some cartwheels and some front walkovers and just, like, had fun with the the birds and the ducks and the deer. Like, I just didn't care who was looking at me. I'm like, why am I putting so much restriction on myself in this world? It's actually a free world. 
okay, if I start going and doing a cartwheel in the ground, who's going to stop me? No one's going to stop me. They can look at me weird or tell me to stop, but they can't physically stop me because I'm not hurting anyone. And why would they stop me? Like, I'm not hurting anyone. I'm not breaking the law. And I just feel like it's time for you to, like, oh, my God. I'm seeing, like, you guys are melting out of this tax. Like, I'm seeing wax melting, and you're you're melting out of these hardened shells that you put yourself in. And this is going to create so much inner peace within yourself. Like, when I'm telling you guys, like, when you start to cry and on the day-to-day basis let your emotions flow and give yourself a check in like for some of you when you get shower I, I wouldn't say rate your day but kind of like take note on how you carried yourself just bring awareness to that like think about scenarios that you've encountered on your day or in your day and like ask yourself okay how did I handle that did I handle that the best way I could um yes uh, say congratulations to yourself give yourself a hug <laughs> celebrate and no congratulate yourself and celebrate that because you're being honest with yourself and you're realizing that you can still improve on things. And it's not about being perfect. It's about improvement, improvement over perfection because perfection is not real. It's about improvement, okay? They really want me to emphasize that. Two of Wands here. You're so, like, well-versed in both size of light and dark energy (laughs) like you have the capacity to be so in flow with your emotions and your nature if you allow yourself to and you're also incredibly and extremely capable of holding so much space for others and holding so much I say this awareness of your own consciousness like that alone is beautiful that alone is so divine like oh and the good news for you guys like death and the hanged man there is an ending happening in this in this pause very soon so there will be a transformation like I'm saying taking this moment to be and meditate contemplate do your shadow work there will be an ending and we have a new moon on Thursday so the couple of days before a new moon is a little bit like um, it's still a releasing energy. It's a, it's a, a retreating energy because the light is going away and there's only a little bit of light left in the moon phase. It's a great time to retreat. You take, take today and tomorrow to retreat a little bit and then the light is going to start coming back to you. The moon is going to start to, um, it's going to be a waxing movement. So it's going to grow and illuminate more and more and more and more. If you've been feeling like your light has been burning out, and metaphorically, these past couple of weeks, that is normal. You're just in tune with the collective energy happening right now. That's okay. But good news, with the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom, fate is shifting. The Wheel of Fortune is shifting because this is always the card of moving out of one cycle into another. And this cycle of keeping this mask, in this, um, like, I relate to this for sure. And it can be very subconscious. With the Hermit card here, you're going to ignite really deep wisdom about yourself. You're going to discover, like, your power. <laughs> you're not going to be afraid of the dark anymore. Oh, my God, that's what I'm getting. You're not going to be afraid of the darkness anymore. You are realizing that you are one with it. And this is going to make your light soar. And it, it just takes time okay it's not something that we do overnight okay i'm just helping bring this to your awareness you all um definitely balance within your light and your darkness so i want to see if i have any more messages before i pull some positive cards for you guys um let's see yeah the self-sabotage there is self-sabotaging energy here that's moving away that will clear out and end when you take time for yourself and i want to go back to the open your arms again the oblivion card because there's something that else that they want to look it says open your arms and receive the gifts waiting for you turn your face to the sun and let the shadows fall behind you it's it's about balance okay during the day i like to embrace the light energy i like to be outside i like to be in that like life full of like energy and then in the night I like to go more within myself and that's when I like I'm more in my darker energy of more reflecting and being in my emotions like I do that and it really helps me 
keep that balance. Okay. Okay, we have the lover's card, but in reverse. I'm not sure what that was about. <laughs> okay, let me see actually what they were trying to say with that, because that has a message. Yeah, don't just connect from your love your heart center like there might be a, like the main thing about this is like love i know you hear that a lot but seriously like having that love for yourself and love for the process love for the pain love for the pleasure love for the beauty love for what you consider all the ugly parts of your life that you don't want anyone to see the ugly parts of yourself you try to hide away from people like love all of it because it is that's realness. It's raw. It's, it's you. And there's nothing to be ashamed of about that. And it, honestly, when you start to kind of soften up and love yourself, you, you can do that for other people. You can kind of see how other people are their own worst enemies, too. You can kind of see how other people get caught up in their ego and run from their own shadows and stuff. But it's not about you doing that work for them by you working on yourself and bringing that light to your darkness and even though you you have to take time to kind of traverse into the shadows shadow realm a little bit <laughs> you're gonna come out so bright and so light what the see you got here just in time for the good news <sighs> his higher self was like i've been working on my shadows <laughs> it's time for me to hear what i'm getting rewarded for <laughs> just came right in time for the good stuff. So yeah, we were just doing messages on the sh on your shadow side, diving into that, like releasing that self pity type of energy, realizing that it's just some little residue from the past. You gotta really, you don't have to go through the whole. You don't have to travel through this underworld with Hades again. Okay, you don't have to do that. Like you just have to. <laughs> a little tear that you had to see all those demons and but now now you're out in the light again and you're bringing heaven on earth in your own world okay no idea why the world you know what let me see if this card is meant to be reversed okay is this supposed to be reverse spirit okay yeah it is okay okay so i'm actually gonna read and see in my booklet what the world card reverse means um i know what it means but i want to see what the this both like those. It's usually about ending, but this is about not something completely ending yet. I'm glad this is resonating for you, Corinne. And thanks for being here, you all. And I love the world card and upright. <laughs> you guys, like, it's kind of cute. It gives you such love energy. I know this isn't to do with love, but just because there is a couple on it, um, yeah. I, it, <laughs> oh my gosh, I just freaking realized this. Let me just shut up and read because the message is going to come out. Okay. The world is the happily ever after ending. Following a difficult journey. Y'all, this card is about happy ending. <laughs> okay, this card is not normally about, oh, happily ever after. It's about actually worldly matters, material things, that, like the like material aspect of your life. Um, endings, yeah, it's about endings, completing a cycle and achievement. But this is more about a happy ending. And this card, the Ten of Cups, is also about marriage, emotional fulfillment, your happy ending. Like, whatever your happy ending is for you, I mean, it's different for everyone. Because not, not everybody wants kids. Not everyone wants to. But I'm saying for a lot of you, because it's all partners and kids here, it's definitely about love. So your happy ending is definitely about being in a fulfilled connection with your friends or your partner or having that partner okay that's what i'm seeing here okay so it says i don't even want to read the names of these people in these cards because i am going to completely mess it up he hinoma and tatanikia represent the victorious conclusion a positive outcome most desired however a conclusion also heralds the start of a new journey so that that's what it means upright in reverse it means imperfection disappointment Shortcuts, <laughs> short sightedness, anxiety. <laughs> that's how I said that was like. You might feel like that's been thrown at you. Like, oh, uh, uh, oh, the, there's there's an imperfection here. It's not it's not flowing. Um, or like, oh, I gotta like, oh, I gotta take a detour, or oh, this didn't work out. Another disappointment or anxiety. It's that's 
it feels very like not accepting of what's happening to you because it's all serving a purpose. So that came out in reverse. So basically that's telling me that's what you're moving out of because you did actually get that emotional fulfillment happy ending like right underneath it. And the two of cups right beside the world card. The two of cups says a happy relationship, equality, partnership, attraction, connection. Okay, literally, literally all of these cards are talking about overcoming some sort of hardship all of these cards literally all of them this is you have to get in order to get to the 10 you have to go through all the cups you like the five of cups that came up the sadness the grief the shame the pain of the past that is not really existing in the external it's more internal now um you releasing that you're getting out of that like oh my god it's the, it's the it's of the past at this point like it's going to be so far gone in your future at some point you're not you're going to like laugh at the pain you go through and to see how it was all meant to serve you in order for you to prepare and get ready for this preparing you for this guy all of that pain it was all here to teach you it was all here to bring you closer to love, to self, heart-based things, higher self things, not ego-based things, and uh, what you think you should look like, who you think you should be, what, where you think you should be at. You, like, surrendered all of that. You let all of that go, and now you're ready for your happy ending that's definitely destined for you because the will of fortune we had come out, and this is about overcoming definitely some inner tension mental disharmony and look we actually have the five of swords on the bottom so you're moving out of this five of swords energy like disappointment betrayal like dealt with some very sneaky people and energy that wanted to keep you down and this is you just like not even being pe like you're being very pessimistic about your future and not seeing how you can be victorious. But now you're saying you can be victorious. You say, oh, wait, I was just that was temporary. That down moment you had when you're literally crying on the floor was a temporary moment. And you it's going to feel so nice when you allow yourself to just cry and like get it out because man oh man there's i really truthfully honestly feel like this is a divine partner i know everyone here is different you might already be with that partner but this inner work that you're doing now this uh purging by you releasing false masks you do your work to know how that applies specifically for you it does have to do with hiding your pain running from it denying it also have to do with other people's expectations just to give you like a conclusion of like the previous read if you joined later in the reading um but if you're watching the replay it, you just listen all the way through so yeah you're moving away from that and this is creating a <laughs> i'm seeing like <laughs> another metaphor they're giving me it's like on the inside before you might have felt like a a mucky muddy lake of just mud and it was like just ew you know like all just like it was like a swamp i don't mean to say ew to your emotions but it was like you felt like it all swampy <laughs> i hope this makes sense guys this is the energy that i'm giving getting but now you're moving out of the swamp okay and you're moving into this beautiful heaven i'm literally seeing waterfalls like on the on the inside you're gonna i'm seeing the ace of cups so much fluidity and the ace of wands on the bottom there's so much movement fluidity there's no stuckness there's no blockness you get your ten of cups and you had to go through this this rough journey like move away from certain people like definitely moving out of a family dynamic a living situation because this is moving house this is moving family dynamic or leaving connections with people that weren't on your level that weren't willing to be with you on this deeply spiritual level so i am going to oh my god we got two more tens what the heck is going on for some of y'all i i have a disgusted bitter taste in my mouth like some of y'all were betrayed like horribly by a father figure it could be your dad or the father of your kids this man played a significant role in your life and your protection and this person really like i'll have to say it's ill to that and but it all serves you because it showed you you sat with that or you're being called to sit with that and be like okay i've seen the worst of the worst 
now I know that I'm going to cultivate and have the best of the best for my future generations, for my children, for my kids, for my family, for my husband. Now I know what it is I truly am looking for and desiring in a husband and a partner and a wife and a and a partner and a lover. Oh my goodness. You are meant to like I'm getting visions, guys. Like oh, this is so cute. Oh my god, guys. This is so cute. Like some of y'all have really been like left broke, like cold. For some of y'all, y'all dealt dealt with partners and people who took like all of your energy. It could be anything of currency, energy, time, money. This person that you were dealing with, this karmic person, this individual that played a big, major part in your life to recognize these shadows about yourself or brought up these shadows and these wounds and this trauma. Man, oh man, are they. They don't know how they were the part of your catalyst to your biggest successes. Like, your children, children, children is going to have money. They're going to have financial wealth. And it doesn't even have to be actual money. For a lot of you, I'm getting an is. But these kids are going to be raised right. They are going to be, oh, they're so special. They're so, like, wise and smart, and creative, and so in tune with their inner child that they're gonna, they're not gonna need to go through these, these woundings like you did, because you've been through it, and you're going to help really teach them, and guide them, and be a, such a big place for kids, and your grandchildren, your nieces, your nephews, they're, it's so cute, it's like all of them are gonna have, like, their own little wealth. Oh my god, that's so cute. Yeah, I'm about to be crying too. And no, Corinne, this is that um I actually I got the tattoo when I was eighteen. <laughs> it's okay. Oh my goodness, it's so sweet. The, oh my god like you wished for this, you wished for this. Aw. This the star card is all about healing and wish fulfillment. It's being hopeful, having faith, keeping that light lit in you, even when you're literally getting beat down sometimes. And look, I split the deck and I shuffle right at the magician. The this, this star card in the magician is very similar. It's such light, pure energy. You're manifesting it, okay? I want to let you know that you're on the right track here. And I want to get some more specific. <laughs> you're, okay, if y'all didn't have... If you didn't have those grandparents or those elders in your family line where you went to them for support and, like, they didn't have that wisdom in a healthy way, like, you you might not have had um, ancestors that really built much for you in the material, but we all know spiritually, energetically, we have gifts from our ancestors and our bloodline for sure. But let's say you didn't have that cultivated when you were a child, you're going to be, you are meant to be those, those grandparents. You're meant to be that cute grandparent couple with that big house, that yard, that, that house in the woods and nature. You're meant to have that. And your kids, your grandkids, they're meant to come over. Y'all meant to have some cookouts and some parties. Like that is what you're supposed to provide in your energy this partner, y'all, look at this. Look at this connection that they have. Like, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so, like, wholesome and calming and healing. Like, y'all are attracted to a very healing partner because you're healing your parental wound. Congratulations. Oh, man, you really are getting these, these be like, these limiting beliefs. And it's like, you're still young right now. <laughs> like, you have so much more ways to go of so many more, like, beautiful blessings and memories. So try to remember that is that the best is yet to come, guys. So I'm really wanting to pull a little bit more of the reading out there. It's kind of been long. Hey, Ravi. Uh, it's just, I... Guys, I have to tell you, I love this energy right now. I am, like, on freaking cloud heaven 9000. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, I don't know if you guys relate to this, but sometimes I've had moments where I get so emotional sometimes. 
and cry when I do my visualization meditations, my manifestation stuff, because I get so wrapped up in gratitude. Gratitude is such a powerful thing. Like being grateful, knowing that it's all working out for your highest good. Inevitably, you will receive the best. You are open to the best. Like you are going to receive that. Like I'm instilling this into everyone here if you accept that you will receive the best. You are open to receiving the best and the best is what you shall receive you've been through it already you were not here you're not meant to suffer this self-suffering oh man it's it's just like laughable because your future is so magical okay your ancestors here want you to connect with them oh, i love that robbie said the two of cups and they're hugging oh my god i love that you missed it, Robbie, but we actually pulled the Two of Cups card, and let me see if I can find it. No idea if I will be able to, but the Two of Cups, I was just showing, like, how intimately they're connected, like, on a soul level. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. You're not going to be looking at your future at a distance anymore, this goal. You're going to be so immersed in it. You're going to be connected with it fully and all of its embodiment so when you are working on your manifestations bring it in close to you like i want to say don't see it as like you're looking from the outside immerse yourself in that body in that version of you seeing through your eyes of having it and open your heart to it and feel it like if it's a partner i do sometimes when i feel called i like to send my divine counterpart so many hugs and i like to heal him through that energetically because i know for both of us we we did not probably him more than me didn't have that hugs and I love yous and we didn't have that so I know as I'm working through my inner child stuff and things that are coming up he's also working on it too and it is fucking hard okay so connect with your ancestors because they want to say they've been through that look they have so much wisdom they were on earth probably went through worse things than you did. I mean, let's face it, our ancestors did go through hell. Um, they want to help you. I just see them lined up, and these ancestors go back to generations of ancient civilizations, and very they were very connected with their tribe. You know where that saying, you know that saying, it takes a village to raise a child? Well, your ancestors, they were involved in villages, for some of you, if this resonates, where they all saw each other as tribe members, as family members, and they all provided and helped. Like, it was very connected and love. And there's something here about they want to provide you with that support and that love and yes we have to do our own work and sit alone sometimes in dark reflection but your ancestors are here to say they have a hand reaching out to you and they're saying take my hand i have you i got you and that i see you okay what they say and i want to read from this and i'll pull one more and then you guys can unmute and we can just chat hang out okay let's the mantra i really want to get into the mantra guys this is powerful okay it says as i heal my wounds i heal my lineage and bring peace verbiate infinite infinitely throughout time and space so as you're healing your wound you're healing your lineage and you're bringing peace that oh my gosh this word reverberate reverberate okay English infinitely throughout time and space. Through understanding our history, we gain a deep sense of appreciation for all the time and people it took to bring us into this world. Connecting with our ancestors is one way to better understand ourselves, our patterns, and the patterns present within our lineage. It allows us to make peace with all that has happened before. It also provides motivation to evolve and find new and better ways to live. Building this bridge is something that you can do by researching and connecting the dots between family stories, DNA analysis, and traditional archives, 
You can also learn about your family line in more intuitive ways, like meditating, dream work, and working with a past life regression specialist or someone who specializes in reading the Akashic Records, a metaphysical archive of everything that has ever happened within the universe including all of your past lifetimes and those that will come in the future. So you also just have family members and souls that you were deeply connected to in past lives as well that want to help you. And that's where this wounding could come from, not only from your bloodline and this body, but also bloodline from other lifetimes. It says, call on your ancestors to tap into centuries of wisdom, protection, and guidance. As you look back and connect with your forebears, your past forward will become more evident. A journal prompt for you would be what patterns or trends exist in your family life, especially among the women. Do these patterns appear in your life? Um, just give me one second, Mary. I'm going to pull one more card and then we can all chat. Okay. Thank you, guys. There's one more card I wanted to come out. Okay. I got more like eight cards, but let me not do that. Okay. So we have abundant planning. So this is for more practical pentacle mastery. So just take stock of your finances, what's coming in, what's coming out. Um, think about your future. Okay, how are you going to start to, <laughs> that's what they want to say. How are you going to start to build this generational wealth? Think about that. Just journal about it, plan about it, visualize it, um, write down some ideas. And I want to take a really close look at let. Let's get up at this card. This person has written living expenses, education, business, self-development, savings, travel. I think that's says free. Keep track of your finances. Don't stop when you're hungry. Don't shop when you're hungry. Oh, <laughs> so that might be some habits that y'all have. Like you might get really hungry and you have food at home to cook or you know that you're being guided to fast, and you're like, oh, but I really am just craving this uh, Chinese food, you know. You guys are like, T take a second thought about that, okay? Just think about that, because I'm going to tell you, like, you're going to feel way better saving that $20 buying some wing stops, personally speaking, okay, and just taking some time to eat some fruit or uh, drink some water, okay? Now, you know... If I'm talking about you, okay, because I know I've been there. I was calling myself out. <laughs> it's me too. <laughs> okay, and then we got clean your space. Okay, but for real, guys, though, like for real about the abundance planning is like become a master at your money is what they want to say. Become a master at financing your money, that self-discipline, keeping that abundant mindset, having an abundant mindset. And, yeah, again, I want to say self-discipline. Save for a rainy day, they want to say. And also, last but not least, clean your space. Some of y'all need to clean your mirrors, uh, lock your mirrors, show your mirrors, put something over your mirrors. There's something that you touch a lot that needs to be cleaned. I feel like it could be your phone. Overall, just cleaning that stuff will open up space again, like I'm saying. The whole message of this reading is releasing reviewing, healing, and releasing wounds of the past, self-sabotage, uh, keeping yourself small and stuck, and then opening yourself up to the beautiful blessings, the sun, the light, connecting with your inner child again. It's always packed full of a bunch of different messages, I'm not going to lie. And I, I'll, honestly, I'm just getting like, take some time out today to sing, meditate, walk. Those are some other messages they want to give you guys, but that's the reading, guys. Um, does anyone want to talk? Let me read the comments first. <laughs> she said, I'm fasting right now. Corinne said, that's me with the wings and rainwater. Um, thank you so much, Sky Women, for joining. I love having you here. Rainwater said, that's so interesting. You said, show your mirrors because I saw a video about how to like your mirrors pop up on my for you page. Yes, look at you getting those divine messages from your gut. Just how to tell you. Sky Women said, pouring water right now, LOL, and cleaning up my dressing tin. It's going to be such a beautiful den when you're done. It's not going to be a depression den. It's going to be, how I want to say, it's going to be a heavenly realm for you. Because I was saying that, like, someone was, like, you're really in a swamp, like, some, like, stuck, murky, dense, dark energy, but you're cultivating this, like, heavenly place for yourself. And I did want to read a comment that she said above about heaven. Let me see if I can find it. Um, she said, he or she that sits in heaven shall have the, la the last 
the last laugh. So be wise enough, be wise and enlightened king and queen resides within. Serve the Lord with fear, trembling, joy, and excitement. Fear has always been trembling, joy. Yes, fear is, it's literally just, I see fear as, it's just energy that can't comprehend or make sense of what's going on. And then you realize it's just an illusion, and then you can transmute that into, like, joy and excitement. Like, let's say you're scared about, for example, like, let's say you missed a day of work, and you called out, like, really last minute, and you have this fear, like, oh, I don't know what my boss is going to say. Take a minute to realize that fear has came up inside of you. Take a deep breath, and then, like, release it. And, and then let yourself know that, no, this isn't the outcome and the reality that I want to create for myself. What do I want to create? What do I want to build for myself? And then tell yourself, like, actually, everything's okay. There's no real threat there. Everyone lived. No one died. It's temporary. And then tell yourself, like, to be honest, they'll probably forget about it. They, they, no one will even remember. No one will really care. Um, and then, you know, move and transmute that into, like, this is, like, process of alchemy. This is literally the process of um, transmuting and alchemy. And then tell yourself, actually, like, tomorrow's going to be a good day. Like, I don't even think my boss is going to remember. Like, you know, and if they do, let's just say energetically because you're like on that steady calm energy and in flow with that emotion that you just felt chances are the problem will just like like clear itself out or it won't be present anymore or like even if it does come up it's not going to be as bad as you think it is because we're constantly manifesting so by you having that stillness of trust and surrender within yourself you're going to be able to approach that scenario if they were to confront you about it from a more calm place and it would just work itself out so i <laughs> that was like gonna be a dancing den soon Ooh, slay yeah i love that turns out i need to clean my room get all that you're you know you know your guys are you know <laughs> have fun play Turn on some music. I love cleaning up i literally love cleaning up i will play music and just dance and clean clean your I never thought about cleaning my phone, Rainwater, but it's actually, I think we should do it because we touch it so much and we put it to our face and like, you know, all the oils and the germs and stuff. It's actually really good to clean your phone. Um, but let me read my, the rest of my comments. If anyone wants to talk, you can. Thank you, Leah. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Just want to let you know, I'm still like, wow, because remember when I told you at the beginning before you started reading your cards, I saw this, <laughs> this white light, but it was really strong, really strong light. And it was making like a little weird shape. And I was like, what is it trying to tell me? But um, I kind of blink my eye and look away. But it, I noticed that it was trying to make the thing that you just did earlier, whatever book you were reading, that's what they were making, the connecting with your ancestors. Oh, okay. So it was, you said it was about like the, the ancestor card? Yes. I put it in the, in the pictures. I oh, know the other one. It was the other one. Wait, I don't know, the it was, no, I remember. Okay, never mind. I'm so sorry. It was a book. Okay. It was a book. The book you were reading. It was a book. Yeah, was that like a spirit or something? I don't I'll know what of... it was, but it was bright, like really white. It kind of looked a little bit like pink, like it had like little like light dust to it. But uh, it caught my attention because it was really bright, like a neon white light. And it was like, and then they were doing some type of a movement. And then I was like, what are they trying to draw? <laughs> but when I saw the, I posted a picture in the chat. So you can see it that's the one that they were showing me oh okay yeah and as i'm telling you about connecting with our ancestors my eyes are now twitching <laughs> confirmation oh. <laughs> that is confirmation so, oh my god yeah. i love that yeah just want to say that thank you so much everything resonates pretty much i think for all of us here in the chat i want to say yeah thank you for being here mary i love you have in or you joining and like communing with us because I know we've talked personally yes. and I know that we're all kind of going through some sort of changes and ending so I'm happy that you could make it 